Unit 2 Polynomials, Lesson 1, Work with Exponents. Uh, when you have an exponent, there will be um, two parts to the power. So the larger number is called your base, and the smaller number that is written on the upper right-hand side is called your exponent. So the base and the exponent is called the power. So the power consists of the base and the exponent. The base is the identical factor, so this is the number that gets repeated. The exponent tells us how many uh, times that number is repeated. So for example, if we look at this power, 3 to the power of 4, that is in exponential form. If we were to expand it, the 3 is our base, so it's the number that is going to be repeated, and the 4 tells us how many times the number is repeated. So 3 to the power of 4 expanded is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Let's try some examples. So we're going to write these following powers in expanded form and then evaluate. Evaluate means we're going to get a final answer. So 2 to the power of 4, the first step is to expand it. So we're going to expand it right over here. So we're going to write it as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Uh, you can also write this with brackets uh, around the 2's. And then in order to simplify it, you'd simply um, multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us 16. Uh, the next one, we have negative 4 in bracket with an exponent 2. So first thing we do is expand it. Now because the negative 4 is in brackets, it means that when you expand it, you must also keep the negative with the 4. Uh, negative 4 times negative 4, so you have two negative integers, so the answer will be positive, and 4 times 4 is 16. Next, we have uh, a power that has a negative 4 to the power of 3, so we start by expanding it, so that becomes negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Now, because we have an odd number of uh, negative signs, we know that our answer will be negative because the negative times the negative will give you a positive number and then the positive number times the negative number will make it negative and 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64. Uh, in our next example, we have the negative sign outside of the bracket so this gets expanded this way, so the negative sign gets written down but the 4 in bracket has the exponent. So when we expand it, we are only expanding what is in the bracket. So that becomes 4 times 4 times 4. So negative times 4 times 4 times 4 is negative 64. Alright, and then we'll try one more example with a fraction. So 2 over 5 in brackets to the power of 3 means we're multiplying 2 over 5 3 times. So I can rewrite this as 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 times 2 over 5, like that. And the rule, if you remember when we did uh, ra uh, multiplying rational numbers, you simply uh, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8. 5 times 5 times 5 gives us 125. And then you just double check to make sure that um, it cannot be reduced. And that is in simplest terms.